Hi there RV and camper owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at Max Air's RV vent cover. These are available in either black, white, or smoke. We're going to be showing off black today. Smoke is going to be similar, but it's going to be a transparent, almost like a tinted window in a way. This vent cover is designed to allow your vent to open inside of it and get air drawn in or exhausted depending on the type of fan that you've got there without letting in any moisture. If it's raining outside, this covers the whole top. The vents are actually here in the back and they're kind of at an angle like this. So the top hangs over and the water would have to almost run around and go back. And even once, even if it got past that point, it sticks past your vent. And our vent starts about right here. So you can see that this back piece here extends back probably about eight or nine inches here at the furthest point to give us that extra overhang to ensure no water can get inside. And it's gonna be great for even in the colder months if you still like to go out there, even when it's a little more frigid and we get a little bit of frost or snow, it's gonna keep that out as well. The cover's extremely easy to take on and off, so if you need to do any service, maybe the fan went out inside your vent or something, or the cover on top, the mechanism that raises it, you're having some issues, or maybe you're just getting a whole new one and you're just replacing the, uh, the entire unit. If we pull our pins there, we can easily tip this to the side and we can perform any maintenance that we need to do in here, whether it be replacing our fan or if our lid here had something wrong with the mechanisms, we can make our adjustments. And then it's as easy as putting it back down. We have these same clips on the other side, so if we were gonna replace the whole thing, it'd be as easy as pulling these out on the other side as well, and then you could lift the entire vent cover off and set it aside. And since there are the same pins on each side, if you had any obstructions that were maybe on this side where you couldn't flip it this way, you could flip it the other way. You're not restricted on which side you have to flip it over on. Here you can see the back louvers where air can either be drawn in or exhausted from depending on your fan settings. And what we have installed behind this the louvers here is we actually have a bug screen that is available from Max Air. It doesn't come included with the vent cover, but you can pick it up here at e-trailer if you want that second layer of protection to keep out any bugs and critters. And this cover will work with just about any standard vent that is about a 14 by 14 size or typical sizes. It does come with its own mounting hardware and it does have Special instructions on that hardware depending on the model of fan you have. We put ours on a fantastic vent fan, and that one had its own specific instructions for that, and there are more there for the other brands out there. Some of the Max Air fans may already have clips on them, so installing the cover here is extremely easy. It's just setting it on top and then putting your pins in because the brackets are already in place on some of those models. Now that we've gone over some of the features of our vent cover, why don't you follow along with me and we'll show you how to get it installed. We'll begin our installation here on the roof. We did open up our vent beforehand just to ensure that we can easily access the side so we can put our mounting brackets on. Now, depending on the type of vent you have, you're gonna use the same brackets, but the installation hardware may be slightly different. If we look at this bracket, you'll see that it's got three holes in the back. It's got a slotted one in the middle and two round ones on each side. If you're installing this cover over a fantastic vent, which is what we're doing today, we're only gonna be using the side holes. We're not gonna be using the middle hole. If you have another model where you can easily pass a bolt through and then access the nut on the other side, then you would use the middle hole. But with the fantastic vents, you can't access the other side to put a nut on it. So it's just gonna be these outer ones. If you have a Max fan, some of those already have mounting holes. So these will screw directly to it and they may already even have mounting brackets on them. So you can just put the cover directly onto it. But we have a fantastic vent, so that's how we're going to be installing it. So we're going to start by just taking our brackets and putting them on our cover. Here you can see the two different types of hardware that we were talking about too. This is going to be the through hole one for the center with nuts and bolts. And these are going to be the ones for just the single round holes, which is what we'll be using. So we're going to go ahead and flip this guy over. We're then going to take two brackets and two clips and we're going to go ahead and get these guys on. It's going to fit like this when it's installed onto your motorhome or camper. So we can go ahead and slide the pins through 
to secure it because we're just going to be using this as a kind of a template to figure out where to position our components. So then we're going to go ahead and clip this one on as well. And this is just temporary. It's just to help us get things lined up. So once we get this one through. And now we can set our vent cover over the top. Now, there, depending on your vent, sometimes your vent cover may hit your vent and it won't sit all the way flush like this. If that's the case, just close your vent some. Some vents aren't gonna be able to open fully 100%, but it really is not gonna make much difference. You're still gonna get plenty of airflow if it's only open to 75%. It's not really restricting it. There's such a large opening there. So we set, we're gonna set it here just so we can kind of get an idea of where we're gonna put our brackets. So we're just kind of pulling these up to the inside, seeing how it looks. And that looks like that's gonna work pretty well there. So what we can do then is leaving those there, we can come over to the other side where we're gonna make our marks for these brackets. So we can kind of see where they're gonna go now. And our cover, we can just kind of like lift up to, to flip to the side. But we're just kind of getting an idea of where these brackets need to be, and then we can get them mounted up. So if you lower it down, looks like about right there is good for the one. And we'll just slide this one under here on this side. Now we know where we're gonna be putting both the brackets. So now we can just lift up. We're just gonna tip this over on its side. And now we're gonna mark and mount the brackets. I'm using a 3 seconds drill bit and I pushed it pretty far down inside the drill because there are electrical components inside these fantastic vents. And if we drill too far, we could potentially damage it. We don't wanna go in further than a half an inch. So just went ahead and limited myself there with the bit by pushing it further in the drill. So now we got our bracket here. We're just gonna hold it up, make a tiny pilot hole. Make a pilot hole on the other side. We don't need to go very deep with it. We can then take the included hardware and just run it right into those little holes that we had made. Before I get it fully tightened, I always like to start the other screw. That way they can ensure they're both gonna line up the way I wanted them to. And we don't need to go crazy tight with it. Just go down until it's flush. We got good contact there. That seems good. Then we'll do the same thing with our other bracket. If you want, you can set the cover back down just to double check to make sure it's gonna line up. We'll now take our cover. We're gonna drop it back down, lining up the two slots here. And then we're gonna secure it with the clips like we did on the other side. And once you've got them slid through, if we flip them up, that puts it in the lock position to hold this side on. Then we'll simply just flip it over this way. And now we can remove the pins from the brackets that we put on the other side. We're gonna set it back down and just like we did on the other side, we're gonna line these up, find the mounting holes and screw them in. So I went ahead and screwed these in. We used the same technique where we just had the cover, flipped it over here, lined up the brackets and we flipped the cover over, drilled and ran the screws in just like the other side. 
Now this side you can secure with the pins, but we do still have another piece here at the back. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it flipped over like that so we can get our back piece installed. So now to insert your screen, it's gonna sit like this. I found that it was easier to put the screen in after you have your vent cover fully assembled. So we're gonna put this back piece on. So you can see that these are elongated here and here on each side. So we're just gonna slide that up till it pokes through. And we're also gonna do that on the other side down here. And then once you got them in there where they poke through, then just give it a twist. And with that elongated end there, it's gonna lock it in place. And then we're just gonna push the top in until it clicks in here on the top. Now that we've got that inserted, we can go ahead and take our cover off. It's actually easier to put the screen in if you just had the whole thing off. So we're gonna take the pins out of the sides and that will allow us to lift the unit completely off of there. We'll now take our screen and there's three notches here. Those are gonna line up at the bottom with the three clips. So just set that guy down in there. It'll line up there. And then all you need to do at that point is to push down on the tabs until they hook in on the lip right there. And now that we've got it clipped in all the way around, we can just reinstall our cover over our vent. So it's just gonna drop down on top. We'll line the ends up with our brackets and then slide our pins through to secure it. Flip them up to lock them in place. And once all the pins are secured, your vent cover has been installed and you're now ready to enjoy the operation of your existing vent without having to worry about any moisture or critters coming inside. And that completes our look at Max Air's RV vent cover.